Welcome back everyone. If this is your first time on the channel, thanks for checking in. Today I was finally able to make the trip to the Riverdale Climbing Gym and Bike Park in North Carolina. Unfortunately the weather did not cooperate so I only had access to the covered portion of the park. But before I get too far into this video, let's check out my new dirt jumper from Polygon. This is the new 2021 Polygon Trid dirt jumper you can get from my sponsors. I have a link below in the description. The dirt jumper retails at $1200 and is built on a hydroformed AL6 alloy frame. Comes with an X Fusion slant DJ air fork, which has a tapered head tube, a through axle, and 34 millimeter stanchions. This is surprisingly a quality fork. Uh, other parts on this build is the double wall alloy rims and the V XCV dirt jump tires. Another quality feature on this build is the hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear. But I removed the front brake components for this build. Uh, comes with a pivotal seat post and saddle, and with the front brake components removed. This bike weighs just under 25 pounds. Huge thanks to my sponsors Bikes Online and TJ21 Media Group for making these videos possible. Alright, enough about the bike, let's check out the Riveter. So this facility has an indoor rock climbing gym which is epic. If you're familiar with Chattanooga, you're likely familiar with High Point Climbing Gym and have seen this type of stuff before. What's cool is the integration of the facilities. Outside is the dirt jumps and the reason for this trip. Under the covered roof there is a small pump track, three progressive drops, and four dirt jump lines. Green, blue, double blue, and black. Everything except the black is rollable and these jumps were, were way bigger in person than what I expected after watching other videos on YouTube. I got to meet up with a few riders while I was here. Uh, these two brothers, Jack and Justin, were doing awesome out here and trying to help me get better riding the dirt jumper. Uh, this was my first time actually riding a dirt jumper so it took a little while for me to get used to it. But their home trails are down in Georgia at Blankets Creek. Another rider I had the pleasure of meeting was Jackson from the Charlotte, North Carolina area. It was great to meet these guys and share some runs with them. I tried using the chest mount today and you'll see my riding was not so good. Uh, you know, kind of a joke actually, but I'm trying to get better so don't hate on me too much. We all start somewhere and don't feel bad for reaching out to other riders for tips. I certainly did while I was there and everyone I communicated with was super friendly. By the end of the day I was able to clear the blue jump line and got way more comfortable on the dirt jumper. I was able to clear the first jump on the double blue but struggled to get over the others. Uh, great day for progression uh, overall and uh, was cool that the Riveter allows you to come and go on your day pass. So because of that I was able to start the day at noon for a couple hours and then I came back later in the day before closing uh, for a bit on the same day pass. I was blessed to have my wife and son out there with me for this trip to Asheville. They brought me some pizza to fuel up while they were uh, spectating and cheering me on before my boy uh, knocked out during the evening session. You can see him repping the Riveter trucker hat uh, we picked up for him. Outside the covered trails are more uh, slope style jumps. Same thing as inside. The green and blue trails are all rollable jumps and features. And as you get into the black and double black lines you have mandatory gaps and features. There are some huge features out here and really bummed the weather didn't cooperate for me to check this stuff out. I brought my drone to even get some good footage but didn't realize how close I was to uh, the airport. So unfortunately with the regulations I wasn't able to fly it. Well, hopefully this uh, shows you a little bit of what's out here. I hope to come back here again soon and uh, when weather, weather cooperates with us and I can ride the outside lines. Us local uh, Chattanoogans would love to have something like this closer to home. After communicating with some members of Sorbo organization, they were wanting to build some dirt jump lines at the base of the new Walden Ridge Bike Park as well. The dirt jumps will be outdoor and I think will uh, resemble more of jumps like at Colo Bike Park than the Riveter, but it will still be great to have local uh, jumps to work on our skills. Thanks for watching and following along. If you get a chance, I highly recommend the Riveter and feel free to stick around and watch some other content I have on the channel.